Okay, I am back for phonics and I am so excited today. We have so many fun learning aids and so many things to do. I think you're going to really enjoy it. So if you will get phonics chart 6 out, we will get started. And if you need to pause it and go look for it, then pause the video and come back. Here we go. C, K, K, and duck. E, E, and me. O, O, and go. Y, I, and fly. A, Y, A, and pray. S, T, st, and stop. P, L, pl, and plane. F, R, fr, and frog. T, R, tr, and train. S, H, sh, and ship. T, H, th, and thick. T, H, th, and this. B, L, bl, and block. C, L, cl, and clock. F, L, fl, and flake. G, L, gl, and glue. Now we're going to do chart 10. Let's get it. W H W and well. W H and who? T C H ch and patch. E A R ear and ear. E A R air and bear. E A R er and earth. O L D old and gold. M B m and lamb. E W U and flu. E W U and few. Y E and rainy, E R er and bigger, E S T S and biggest, L Y L E and slowly, E N N and sharpen, E S S and peaches, I L D, Ild and child, I N D, and and kind. What did we learn last week? We learned. What was it? O L D, old and gold, O L T, old and Bolt, I think. O S T, Oast and Most. I L D, Ild and Child. I N D, Ind and Kind. All right, before we get into our learning today, let's see if we can do our little cards. Uh, where did I put them? Oh, here they are. I knew I got them out already. All right, do you have your paper or your dry erase board? Here we go. The first one is Gleh. Gleh. Ding, 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 ding. G L E with a short mark. G L E with a short mark. The next one is Flaw. Flaw. Ding, 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 ding. F, L, O with a short mark. Let me show you. F, L, O with a short mark. All right. The next one is slew. Not a word. It ends with a vowel. Slew. Ding, 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 ding. S, L, U with a short mark. S, L, no, with a long mark. S L U with a long mark, Miss Amy. Long mark. Next one is SMA. SMA. Ding, 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 ding. SMA. S M A with a short mark. Got it. S M A with a short mark. The last one is SNI. SNI. Here we go. S N I with a long mark. S N I with a long mark. I wish we were in class and I could see you. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to start looking at our suffixes. So, if we look at this chart and it says Y E and rainy, that's got a little long mark where the root word goes. E R R and bigger. E S T S T and biggest L Y L E and show slowly E N N N sharpen. Now I gave you a little pencil this week, and it says base word up at the top. It says what? Prefix at the bottom. It says suffix because if you have a word, prefix comes on the front and suffix comes on the back. Open up your little pencil. We are going to underline the ones that we're going to be looking at this week. We are going to look at ER. 
underline that, EST. We are going to look at Y. Now, the rest of these we may talk some about. We've got ED. We've already done ED. We, are, we can look at FUL, although we're not going to study it in depth. And we have already learned ING. We will be talking about LESS some. Now, this does not have all of them on there, but it has a good list, and it has a list that I want you to be familiar with. Now, this is not one we're going to talk about, but it's able. Uh, but when you have it in a word, it's able. That is fixable, said Dad when I thought my bike was ruined. Don't worry, it's fixable. Mama said, help me move this couch. I know it's movable with just you and me. Movable. All right, so it means it can happen. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to put on my screen. I'm going to shrink Miss Amy down. Way down. And I want you to look at this. Okay, and we're going to start from the current slide. All right, it says, Welcome to the Word Puzzle Convention. <laughs> clapping. It says, we love puzzles. Look at those cute kids. So they love puzzles and you like puzzles. And we love learning new words. Little hearts come. Just It says, parts of words fit together just like the pieces of a puzzle. So what does that word say? You should be able to read that word. It's got two P's. That's a short vowel. A happy now we put a new puzzle piece on there what does you in say un so we could be unhappy which is not happy teach er teach er i am a teacher the root word or the base word is the most basic part of the word it has meaning and it can be used all on its own it does not have to have a suffix or a prefix so we have happy, teach, trust. All of those are basic words. You can't take any other letters over, off of there and have a word. If you took the Y off of the top word, it would be hap. It's not a word. If you took CH off, it would just be T. That does not mean teach. So these are words that you cannot take the letters off of. An affix is one or more letters that can be added to the front or the back of a root word. So you see happy has a little puzzle piece missing from the front. And teach has a little puzzle piece missing from the back. Unhappy teacher. Now he's showing us some words. What does he have? Turn. Very good. Happy. Very good. Trust. Affixes at the front of root words are called what is the yellow word? Prefixes. Pre means before. Okay, let's see what they give us. Return. Unhappy. Mistrust. A prefix changes the meaning of a root word. Now, we're not really learning prefixes yet, but this is just an introduction. Now, we're going to put on something on the end. So, we have turn. Affixes come at the back of root words. These two blue cards are root words, and they are called suffixes. So suffixes are at the back. Turned. I turned the page. Badly. I felt so badly I couldn't go to school. A suffix changes the meaning of the root word. A prefix is at the front of a root word and a suffix is at the back. See prefix is in yellow and suffix is in black. Use the alphabet to remember P comes before S. All right, so let's look at the alphabet. You see P is in yellow. I'm going to point to it with my mouse. P. And keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. And we have S. So P comes before the root word and suffix comes after the root word. That's just a little key to help you remember it. When you add a prefix or a suffix to a root word, it becomes a new word. Return means I took something back. There you go. Return. 
Turned plus ed makes turned. I turned the page in my book. Don't leave a space between the root word and the affix. So if you're putting a suffix or a prefix on, don't leave a space there. Just write it all as one word. Laugh. A suffix changes the meaning of the root word. If you understand the suffix, you'll understand how it affects your root word. So suffixes have meanings too. Laughed. It's a past tense verb. Laughed means it already happened. I laugh at you today. I laughed at you yesterday. Not making fun of you, just at your joke. All right. Please note, adding a suffix sometimes changes the spelling of a root word. And you remember we learned this with ed and ing. The three most common spelling changes when adding a suffix. Double it when it's got a short vowel and a consonant. I is a vowel. M is a consonant. So mm, ing lets the world know that's swim, not swime. So we have swimming swimmer. Change y to an i before adding a suffix that begins with an e and sometimes other ones. Happy, change the y to an i and add happiest or happiness. Delete a silent e if the suffix begins with a vowel. Bake, baking. The suffix is ing and what does it start with? What? It starts with i. That's a vowel. Time changes to timing. Let's puzzle out the meaning of words by learning about <laughs> suffixes. All right, so we're going to pick out the suffix we're going to learn today. And it is why. Why is the quality of? What does that mean? Let's look at some examples. Fruit changes to fruity. So it has the quality of being fruity. I like that fruity drink. That means it's got fruit tasting in it. It's fruity. Salt to salty. You wouldn't say, I like these salt chips. I like these salty chips. They have the quality of being salty. Do you get it? Stink. Oh, what is this going to be? Stinky. Your feet are stinky. They have the quality of stink on them. All right, what does the sentence say? Can you read it? All right, read it with me. I love snacking on salty popcorn. Very good. <laughs> that popcorn is popping. Salty. Quality of... Oops! Do we need a quiz? Let's see. Please use your whiteboard. Uh, no, this is for the whole... Uh, the whole slideshow. So we'll do that when we get done. That was pretty neat, huh? Alright, I'm going to turn that off and pull Miss Amy back out. Alright, that was super fun. So the one we're looking at today is Y, E, and Rainy. Y, E, and Rainy. Let's see if we can say it and spell it. Y, E, 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 Y, E, and Rainy. What does that sound like? Y is a crazy letter. Sometimes Y, sometimes I, and now it's saying a long E sound. Y, E, 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 Y, E, and Rainy. Let's see if we can look at these words. Now, there is a dividing uh, rule. You can divide a word between a root word and a suffix. So let's look. You can divide a word between a root word and a suffix. So we have sleep, e, sleepy. I'm going to do another one for you. What does that say? San, e. My shoes are sandy. Dirt, E. Whoo, that dirty diaper. Gage said, Mama, change that dirty diaper. But I think Tegan has been party trained, hadn't she? So I guess she doesn't have any more. All right, let's look at this one. What is that? Dust, E. Dusty. Now the next one, we're going to divide it between the two Z's because that's where you normally divide words that have two consonants that are alike. 
fuzzy. Fuzzy. And this one we're going to divide between the root word and the suffix. Dividing words, the rules are not hard and fast. They kind of are floaty. They kind of change. But dividing between a root word and a suffix is a helpful guideline to remember. All right, what does IGH say? <coughs> IGH, I and night. Mighty. Our God is mighty to save. All right, so that is neat. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get my suffix guide. And I want you to turn to page one. All right, it says the definition is characterized by or like. All right, so I like to say it has. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Fish plus E, the new word is fishy. It has qualities like a fish. Okay, so it's fishy. I want you to write this down. Dust, on the first blank, I want you to write dust. Dust. dust and the suffix is e e and rainy it's going to be e and rainy on every word and then write the new word what's the new word dusty so you put dust plus e and you get dusty all right the definition is has dust has dust it's that easy Dusty means it has dust. Characterized by dust. Characterized means it has it. All right, do you have that? Your next one, you can pause the video if you need to, is going to be snow. It's O in bowl. How do you spell O in bowl? I'm not going to tell you. Snow. Plus E. E and rainy. The new word is snowy. Write it down. And my coffee. All right, the definition has snow. It has snow. So snow plus E, snowy has snow. It's a snowy day. This day has snow. All right, the next one is a fun one. It's chew. It's you and few. Do you remember what you and few is? You and few. Chew plus E and rainy. The new word is chewy. Mama, this meat is chewy. This definition is just a little different, so listen to me. Has to be chewed a lot. Has to be chewed. D and played, chewed a lot. If it's chewy, you gotta chew and chew. Like bubble gum is chewy. You can chew that stuff forever. <clears throat> you don't want meat to be chewy though, because that means it's got a gristle. All right. So that is all we have to do in our my suffix guide today. And the next thing we have to do is look at what work you have today. All right, so you have one page today. Now, it has suffixes on here, Mama, that we are just getting familiar with. I think you can mark out A-B-L-E and I-B-L-E. If you do not want to do those on any word, it is fine. You can mark them out. All of these other suffixes will work on here. So, like sing, the birds are singing to me. You can't say singed, because that's not a word. So you have to make sure it's a word. Okay. The next word is kind of hard. I'm going to help you with it. It's a, a, and a sleep. A, 
the A makes a a uh sound. Now you can read the next part. Void, avoid. Avoid means you're trying to not do it. You're trying to hide from it. You're trying to stay away from it. Okay. And I think all the rest of the words you can read. All right. See, if you can use different suffixes, don't just put ed on all of them or don't just put ing on all of them. Try to use some of those other ones and make some new words. Okay. And then your game for today is, I sent y'all the cutest little pencils. Please do not lose the pieces to the pencils. Usually I let you keep the games, but I want to keep these in the classroom when we are done using them because it took me a long time to cut all that out. So just please put it back in the bag when you are done and don't let Sissy or your brother chew on it or color on it. So what you try to do is, I think what I said is play it in rounds. Uh, there are some suffixes in there that you may think are too difficult for your students, so take them out. I think it's A-B-L-E and I-B-L-E. You can take those out. And then have your student put a pencil and an eraser together and set a time, like three minutes or five minutes, and see how many words they can make. And then when they get done, when the beeper goes off, have them read the words, pull out the nonsense words, and count the real words they made and write it on a sheet. Then do it one or two more times and see which round they got the most real words on. So that should be really fun. I love those little pencils. They just look so cute. And I know this has been a long phonics class, but I think it's been a really good one, and I have enjoyed it. And so I will see you again for math.